Welcome to Black Man Lab, Lab Results. We are live. Welcome everybody. We are gonna have a great conversation because we had a great uh, meeting this past Monday, great session this past Monday. Uh, before we get started, my man, my partner, my mellow, Joe Barker. Joe, what's happening, brother? Hey, good evening. How's everybody doing, man? Marty, appreciate your energy, appreciate your hustle, man. I know uh, you have plenty of things going on just like the rest of us, man, but I really respect how you hold it down on Monday evenings with, with Molly, and then you come here and you, 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 you bring brothers online to educate in a much more intimate space, you know, the topic for Monday to unpack a little bit. So appreciate being able to co-host with you, bro. Man, you know I love having you with me, partner. So, uh, yeah, Monday we talked about uh, the film industry and uh, we talked about TV and film. We're going to delve deep into that with our guests tonight. Um, but before we do that, we're going to do what we, we do every time we meet, which is make sure that we are acknowledging those that came before us, um, our ancestors, those that would be happy that we're doing this work, those that stand over us when we ain't looking and uh, make sure that we are OK. So what we do here on Lab Results is we do a simple libation, which is simply to shout out the name of somebody in our in our past, somebody that's an ancestor to us now that is significant to us that would be happy to see us in this space. So brothers, on the count of three, if you could just shout out a name, uh, and I'll ask those that are watching to do the same, shout out a name of an ancestor, somebody that would be proud of the work that you're doing. Um, and then we will say their name and I shade thereafter on the count of three, y'all. One, two, three, Marion Monaghan. Four. Early May Louder. I shade. I say. All right. So we, we always want to make sure that we are acknowledging those that came before us because, again, we know that this work that we do would not be happening if it wasn't for those who put the energy into us. So um, mm -hmm. that's our first and foremost. Next up, without further ado, I want to bring on our guest because I think that we're going to have a great conversation tonight and he has a whole lot to offer. He's been in the Black Man Lab space a bunch of times, highly accomplished in the work that he's been doing. Um, and he just brings great energy when he comes to the Black Man Lab. Wouldn't you agree with that, Joe? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Love having him on here. Yeah, every time. And, and, and I know that our young people get a lot out of him as well. So without further ado, my brother, Jason Louder. Jason, how are you, brother? Man, I'm blessed and highly favored, brother. I appreciate love y'all so much, man. You know, you, you know, Black Man Lab, man. This is this is family. So I, I thank y'all for for inviting me again to to just share, man. I, I'm 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 blessed. I can say that. I'm truly blessed, brother. Abundantly manifesting. <laughs> I appreciate that, brother. Marty, uh, Marty, I gotta say, man, like this brother is so humble, right? So Monday we had gotten started and you know he's running in a million different directions. So he got there a little late and he knows good and well he was supposed to be in the panel. But when I tell you how big a supporter he is of Black Man Lab, he was willing to just come in and take a seat and listen, man. He's like, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I was like, man, get this up on the stage, man. Right, right, like, right. He was right. really just willing to come in and listen, man. This brother is so humble and worked so hard, man. Just much respect to you, bro. I say give thanks, King. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. That's that. And that, you know, quite honestly, man, um, you know, before we get deep into the conversation, that energy and that that level of humility is something that I think is really important for our young people to see um, mm -hmm. and to have a level of understanding that, hey, you can be successful at the work you do, whatever that work is you do, and still have a level of humility about yourself, um, because that's I ironically that's how blessings find you right and i and i yes. think i think that, that that's uh something that you would agree with jason and that that level of humility the level of um reciprocity um mm. it comes right back to you so listen man let's let's get into it we want to know we want the the purpose of lab results you know in the, when we're in the lab on monday it's everybody yes. talking about whatever the topic matter is one of the mm -hmm. things that we acknowledge though is that you know, in that short little window of time that we have, we don't generally get deep into what right. got the people that are on our panel to the level of success that they are today. Um, mm -hmm. So that's what we do here at Lab Results. We want to know about the results, right? What, what got you to, to where you are today? So um, yes. first and foremost, tell us about, about your life. Tell us about 
Um, first of all, where'd you where'd you grow up at, Jason? Yes, I'm a I'm I'm a I'm a native baby. I'm an AT, AT alien, full of, full of, full of pride and true. <laughs> so, um, college now, Park, Brady, college, baby? I, well, actually, no, I didn't get, I, I missed Brady by, by, by maybe by a couple of years. I was a uh, coffin <laughs> long. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So yeah, Crawford Long, born and born in Crawford Long, man. And um, man, my mom and dad, they um we they raised us in Pointer Ridge, a neighborhood um called Pointer Ridge off of Flat Shows, man. And that's where that that's where the upbringing, that's where it all that's where it all began. I, I like to say that. That's my back that part of my backstory is is Pointer Ridge. Um and of course, I ended up going to a uh, Riverwood High School um, up in um, up in Roswell. And uh, my mom put us in the MTM program because she was just kind of like, hey, listen, um, go. I need you to go get it. Go get it. Go take care of business. And so I was in the um, international baccalaureate program, okay. um, international studies program. Yeah. Yeah, man. So matriculated from from Riverwood and then um, went to Georgia Southern University, GSU graduate. They, they say they're the real GSU. So. <laughs> 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 so um graduated from southern uh, georgia southern in 99 man and i was um man w- i guess watching my mom and my and and how my mom moved she was a part of you know just naacp she was um um a, 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 the chair of, of of um the presbyterian women of atlanta um um I, she was a part of the uh the the um they helped set up a, a food pantry at our church. You know what I'm saying? She would go into the neighborhoods and, and feed the homeless. So I kind of grew up watching that. So, okay. man, I, at Georgia Southern, I um I was the president of the Black Student Alliance for three years, um, vice president of NAACP while I was there. I ran for student government, um, became a student government member. So I was heavy into the the uh, activism. You just start mm-hmm. watching her and my grandma. You know what I'm saying? So... That, that that's they planted the seeds and I just I continue to carry them out you know what I mean um and so after I graduated from Southern man it was like okay what am I gonna do so man from there end up teaching at Romar Academy um on, called Miss Quasha on, 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 oh okay okay my bad my bad it's it's, it's a backstory <laughs> you you not, you're not just gonna pass up your life at Georgia Southern like didn't nothing happen we we're not gonna do that because <laughs> because here, here's the truth. Here's the truth, Jason. See, yes. Marty and I, we get to cheat, right? Because we have yes. you talents on here and we get to hear your backstories and dig into it. Now, I just two weeks ago dropped my son off as a sophomore in college at Georgia Southern. So, bro, you gotta you gotta tell me what I'm headed for, man. You gotta talk to him what that life was like at Georgia Southern. Well, my freshman and sophomore year, I tell you, my fr- that my, my my second semester of my freshman year. I got put on academic probation because I was, I was enjoying, I was enjoying it. I said, I'm enjoying it too much. I was enjoying it too much. I said, man, I knew it. you can do it. <laughs> at least so, you, at my, least you waited until your, your sophomore years. Some of us. Right, right. <laughs> I oh, knew it. So, so mom, mom Duke said, listen, you can go down there and, and mess up and you can pay for your school or, you can get it fixed. You can correct it, and we can help you. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna need that help. So, it, it, yeah, the, the the shift happened my sophomore year, man. The shift definitely happened, and that's when I started to, you know, really get in, involved in 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 what was going on in in in, in the community. You know what I mean? That's when it really kind of it triggered. Yeah, yeah. And, and I want I want our young young listeners to hear that, man, because there's nothing wrong with enjoying your college life, like Marty said. Right. Hell, some of us were lucky to make it to sophomore year before that happened. But <laughs> yes. the reality is, you know, Mom Dukes had that conversation with you. And not only did you turn that around, but you turned around many things. You were involved in NAACP and, and, and cabinet members on the university. So it, it's yeah. like you found another way to be engaged and still enjoy that college. Yes, yes. that's so true, Joe, because, you know, like, we still, I still went out with my friends. We still hung out. I still did that. But I said, you know what? I knew what the, I knew when the cutoff time was. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> exactly. I love it, man. I love it. Yeah. I appreciate that context. So let, let me and, let me jump in real quick, Jason. Now, yes, do sir. you have siblings? I do. I have a younger brother and a younger sister. I'm the oldest. I'm the oldest okay. of three. Okay. Okay. And, and and now your folks are they still in Atlanta? What? 
my, I'm sorry, my mom. Yeah, mom and dad, man, they still they live in Fayetteville. They moved to Fayetteville after 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 um, I graduated. Okay. Um, so that yeah, they they they're still there, man. Um, they celebrate they just celebrated their fiftieth. Wow, their fiftieth wedding fiftieth wedding anniversary this 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 year, man. Yeah, oh, nice. yeah, nice. man. My my folks celebrate their sixtieth tomorrow. Wow! Yeah. Oh man, love it. Yeah. God. Yeah, man. So that's foundation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. right. Just better. So now, so yeah. you can You wound up. You get out of Georgia Southern. You went into teaching. Yes. So Romar, I heard of Romar. Yeah, man. Romar. Um, it was off um off of Main Street in East Point. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, um, the Henson family, Miss um, Miss Henson, um, and her husband, they kind of started the school, and um, Miss Quash, she was there when I um, when I was, she was the principal when I was there. She took me in, and they just took me. They took a, I was twenty, I was twenty one years old, man. They took a twenty one year old, just fresh out of college. They took me, they took me under the wings, man, and just taught me the importance of community and education. Like I really got it once I started teaching there. I, I, it hit me like, oh wow, yeah. it's it's detri- it's so necessary to start our children young and teaching them who they are. I was like, man, this is where it's at. Um, so you know, learning you know learning who Marcus Garvey was, teaching them at a young age, learning the the, the Kuji Chop, you know the, the the principles of Kwanzaa and Guzu Saba, like that was so crucial. And in mm-hmm. shaping, like now I look, now I see them now, and I'm like, wow, that foundation was everything, man. It was everything. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so now where else? So you you taught there and taught Romar, and then once um I, I left Romar and ended up going to Imhotep Academy, which yeah. was even more, even more pro black. So, so it's kind of like, whoa, yes. it's yes. more. <laughs> yes, brother. That's awesome. Yeah, Literally, man. So, the name says everything about that school. Let me tell you, I. I recruited a couple of students there that went to uh, other high schools that I'm familiar with and strong, yes. strong academic and culturally aware students there. Yes, yes, man. Imhotep, man. It, it was it was like it was once again an awakening. It was another awakening in my educational, in my in my in my in my teaching journey. It was another awakening. And I, I I'm to this day, I am indebted to them. I'm indebted to Imhotep. So that's my life, man. Romar and Imhotep. That's where I became a, a man. I want to say that I became a man at both of those institutions and mm. I became an educator. I truly mm. became an educator. Yeah. Mm. I love it. I love so, it. You, you know, we're talking about um, the TV and film industry. So we have to yes. talk <laughs> about that transition. Right. Yes. What got you from being an educator and a, and a good yeah. one, a really good yes. one, um, to moving into to the acting realm. What 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 was your spark, first of all, that made you Got say, it. this is what I want to do? Mm. And so here's another part of the backstory. Um, I, I was coaching soccer as well. So I was coaching soccer as well. And um, my one of my, <laughs> another part of the backstory, I used to be in a rap group. Back in Georgia Southern, I was in a rap group as well. So, <laughs> oh man, we we didn't know that. We should have had him, Joe. We should have had him busting rhymes when we were bars, in the lab. Man, bars. <laughs> Yo, I got. I have to return and bust some and bust some and, and bust some rhymes, brother. Yeah. I definitely would do that. Absolutely, yeah, man. So I was in a rap group then, and um, we 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 actually were we stayed together up until um, man, up until two thousand like two thousand and two thousand and. 909 um brothers just kind of start you know having babies and getting married so we kind of dispersed a little bit and i was the hype man of the group so one of the brothers from the group called me and said hey man you should be an actor because you got the most you you man you're the most animated dude i know and i was like acting i don't know man he said man just there's an audition at georgia state university you should go and i said all right cool so um I went to the audition and I got there. They told me, they said, Hey, here's your size. This is what you do. And I said, okay, what, what, what is this? She said, have you ever acted before? I said, no, nah, I haven't. She was like, Oh God. Okay. So just go read over these sides. And when we call your name, you're going to come in and then, you know, you're going to go over the script. And I was like, all right, cool. So I went in the room, they called me into the room. I read over the, I read over the sides and I said, man, this is powerful. So 
I start reading with the director and something just happened. It was like, yo, this is, this is real. No, this is real, man. We're living a true, a true moment right now. So we had a, a very, very vulnerable, true moment. I had that with her and the, the department chair, she said, very nice. And then it was another, another director said, Hey, can you read my script? I said, yeah. So I read it with her. Same thing. I said, man, this is, this is powerful. And another director said, Hey, can you read mine too? No she way. said, but can you, wow. yo, she said, can you do it with a Jamaican accent? I said, as a matter of fact, I can. Cause the dude in a rap group, he's Jamaican. So I used to mimic his voice. And so, <laughs> so, so, so yeah, I, bro, I did. Just so you know, yeah. cause I follow you, Jason. And bro, you be killing that Jamaican accent. You be <laughs> killing it. <laughs> Thanks, my brother. Oh, bless up, bless up. Yes. Oh man. So she did that, brother. And um, I, I read four. I read one, two, three, four, five, five different scripts. And so the department chair called me that night, and she said, "Hey, um, Jason, um, you got cast in all five. No, but she, yo. And I said, "What?" She said, "But I can't let you do that because that wouldn't be fair for you." or them because you've never acted before. So you can choose two. So man, I chose the first two that I did, man. I chose a piece called Our Liberated Justice. And that was by Dr. Asantewa Suni Ali. It was about her parents who used to be Black Panthers and they started the liberation, the, the, um, the new African, the, um, um, they started the, the, the coalition of new Africans. Um, uh, Baba 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 Balao Ali and Mama Fulani um, Ali, and so it was about their story. And so I did that one, and I also did the one where I played a Muslim terrorist, mm -hmm. and um, it was just me by myself on stage, and I was atoning to God for the sins that I had committed. Mm -hmm. Wow! Oh, so wow. those are the first; those are the first two pieces that I ever that I that I ever did, and 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 I, and. I tell people now that acting called me because I fell in love. After that moment, I fell in love, man. I fell and, in love. Yeah, and it, 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 is it, it's, it's kind of, I shouldn't say kind of, it is, it's beautiful when you watch what the creator does and allows him to make you move, right? Yes. Like you, yes. you think about just what you told, that story right there, you think about how that yes. lined up, right? Even yes. to the point of you being able to kill a, a, a Jamaican accent, um, for that all to line up like that, for somebody who had no acting background, you know, yeah. but then yet at the same time, you were able to hit that on button that said, yeah. and you that said, this is what, this is what I need to be doing. Right. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and so often there's a lesson there mm. is that so often we do work in our lives, yes. right? Woo. We do work. Like I, I'll be the first to admit as a VP of sales, I'll, I hope nobody that, that works that that hires me or has hired me listens right now. I will tell you, this is not the work that I'm supposed to be doing. I'm good at it, but it's not, you know. So mm. we often, so often, we do that, right? You know, we're yes. doing work that you know is it. Joe's a, another great example of that, right, Joe? Mm. Yeah. Mm. We we I, I definitely have, have a story, and 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 Jason, to your point, man, and yes, I just want to emphasize what Marty said, man. It. it it sounds like you really like serve your community. You really mm. would care for your community. Bro, I know yes. Romar Academy. I know Imhotep Academy. And, and yes. first of all, education, we all know you ain't getting highly paid there. First yeah, of all, right. nobody yes, goes into education for the money. So yes. man, your path, man, was truly divinely guided, man. And you really serve your community. And you just mm. let God order your steps. You know, it's like, Hey, go show up for this thing at Georgia State. He was like, "All right, cool." Like you weren't chasing it, you know. You were just you were just <laughs> following where God was ordering your steps and yep. did that. Now, oh. to Marty's point, what I want to hear about is the yes. the hard side because you've told the beautiful side that everybody gets to see. But just like yes. Marty said, my own path, you know, I had to make a decision at one point. Left corporate America, went into education, lost so much. Lost so yes. much. So there's a there's a challenge inside to that that God has blessed me to be able to walk that path, but it came with its own challenges. Talk yes. to us a little bit about that difficult side. What were those challenges? Because nobody makes it overnight. 
As right. great as your story is, nobody's making it overnight. You're doing amazing things. But what were what were some of the challenges you faced that you had mm -hmm. to stay strong and navigate through that our young brothers and sisters can hear and be like, yeah, I'm dealing with that right now. Mm, wow, that's, who Joe, I, 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 I will share this before. I, it's like a caveat, right? So while I was at Emotep, they were supporting me they were supporting me, like literally like Mr. Louder, you know what, if you need a day off, th th this was later on, this was later on in my career after, after I had, you know, kind of, it, so essentially I was taking classes wherever I can get classes, acting classes. I was in every, I was in everybody's play. Hmm. I was in everybody's short film. I was in everybody. At the same time, I'm still teaching. I'm still teaching at, at Emotep, but I'm I'm still studying. I'm still learning my life. I'm still creating characters, still studying, you know? Um, and so that was a beautiful blessing, right? That whole time I'm doing that. I, um, and so in 2016, Miss 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 Rosenberg, I love her to this day. She said, Mr. Lauder, at the end of the school year, she said, Mr. Lauder, we made a decision. We can't renew your contract for next year. Okay. Because you missed, she said, I missed about, I missed about 70 days of school, man, because I was for acting, right? And she said, that's a lot of days. And she said, we see that you have a, we want you to fly because now you have another passion that you, that yes. you found, you found this new passion. So we, 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 we encourage you to go and go, go after it. Um, as beautiful as that sounded, I said, well, can I come in at least twice? I can come in twice. I can come in twice. I can come two times a week. Right. Right. I need a pay. So right. she said, no, no, we want you to fly. Man, I, I I cried. I cried later on that evening. And, and then I called my my cousin the next day. I said, hey, man, I don't, I'm not, I, I'm out of work. He said, bro, go, go, go do DoorDash and Uber Eats and Postmates. Man, I signed up the next day. I said, I'm signed. I saw I got in DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates. I'm doing that every day, working, hustling. Um, and I said, you know what? One night I said, God, you know what? I want spoke speaking to the universe and the creator. I said, I want all of my income to come from acting. Mm. You go. That's there my you go. next. And so the next thing I know, someone said, Hey man, you know, you can be a, a um a patient, a, a, a standardized patient at Emory University. They pay actors to pretend like they're sick to help train the doctors who are, who are, um, who, 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 who are in training. And I said, yo. So I end up doing that. And somebody else said, Hey, you know what? Who I do? think you'll be, really, <laughs> I think you'll be really good for dinner theater. Um, and I said, yo, dinner oh, theater. Yeah, yeah I'll I do that. that. So, I I start, that. <laughs> so I started doing dinner theater. Um, and then someone reached out to me and said, Hey man, you, you used to tell stories. Uh, you were a storyteller. Can you come and tell stories at this library? So I, I went. I started doing storytelling at li at libraries as my as my alter ego, Baba Tunde, and so I'm doing storytelling. I'm doing standardized patient, and my agent called me one day and she said, "Hey, promise Joe, I have I have the the, the photo. I I took a screenshot of my account. I had six dollars in my account, mm. six dollars, and I." I knew rent was, and I knew rent was due the next week. I said, I got sick. So I said, okay, all right, so cool. I'm not, I don't have to eat. I'm good. I don't have to eat today. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make whatever I got. She said, she's my agent called and said, hey, do you want to do voiceovers? I said, yeah, why not? I never, I, I never done that before. She said, okay, go to your closet, record this voiceover on your phone and then send it to me. I, I did that. Two weeks later, she said, Jason, you just got hired to be the voice of Adidas. Oh, my wow. goodness. Yeah, brother. I, I, I booked, I booked a, a, a national voiceover commercial for Adidas, man. And that was in two, that was the next 2017, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow. I mean, but so, you took that leap, man. You, 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 yeah. you, you put that in the universe and say, mm -hmm. and, and I'm with you, man, because I, I've had to do that. And it's not an easy leap. You you, you look at that bank account and you look at those bills, man. But but yeah. that faith it just guides you. It mm. guides you. Yep. You can't question the faith. You got to just go with it, man. And, and you, you you still gonna stumble and fall sometimes. But you put in the universe. I want my all my income to come from acting. I love it, man. I love yeah, it. Yeah, that's man. amazing, man. And 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 that that uh contract with Adidas, I'm sure. 
Light, lighten the load on that bank account, right? <laughs> so that you were able to, you didn't have to have that worry no more. Amen. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. That's yeah, man. beautiful. So yes. talk about, so talk about the next steps thereafter that, you know, we know, we know that you've done some pretty significant work as well. So what else? Man. So I think honestly, from there, I was still, I, I but something said, you still need to keep working, still keep mm-hmm. working. So, mm-hmm. uh, man, I, I stayed in class. I, I, you know, I continued to say, let me reach out to these other. Now I was, I was in a position now to say, hey, I want to reach out to some of the people who I did free work for. All these directors who I did, I did, I was in their stuff for free. They, 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 they fed me. I said, as long as you can feed me, I'm good. I'll do it. Right. I reached out to them and said, hey, man, I want to do some project. I have an idea for, for a project. And okay. it, it, all of them said yes. Mm. So I was able to start a project called Sour Milk, and um, it was about post-traumatic slave syndrome. And so I wanted to do a sh- several short films about how we deal with post-traumatic slave dis- post-traumatic slave syndrome. And we reached out to uh, we read the book by Dr. Joy DeGruy, and man, we shot three amazing short films about. Um, you know what I'm saying about that. And, yeah. um, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and then the money ran out. So, cause I was like, it was my vision. So I'm, you know, I got to stand behind it. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta, I gotta put my money where my mouth is, but I learned from that experience that, Hey, you know what? You can always call on your tribe, on your community. Okay. So, my, okay. so, ne- so that's where I, so now I'm at a point now to where when I return, when I, I'm going to come back to sour milk. And this time, I'm going to reach out to my community, to my village, and say, hey, you know what? I need help. I need some financial support, or I need support in whatever capacity so sure. I can get, so I can complete this, this, this anthology, because it's an anthology that needs to be, okay. I, wanna, I want it, I want the world to see it. Well, wow. you, you need to make sure that you are fully communicating that with your brothers at Black Man Lab. So that we yes, can uh, help that bring that through fruition, man. Because uh, yes, that that sounds like something we need as well. And and just real quick, you know, <laughs> this there's there's always some underlying thing underlying themes in everything that we talk about, no matter the topic. And yes. what you spoke to here tonight is that need to consistently practice and get good at your craft, no matter mm-hmm. what it is. And if you continue to work at it, and that's where your passion is, success yeah. finds you, right? Because I think that that's, that's the creator's divine, you know, um, way is, is to yes. make sure that if you have your, what is, what is supposed to be for you, you are doing the work for what's supposed to be for you. It's going to work out, right? Work out. So, I shame. Um, so let's talk about you in, in film. Yes. What got you? Where where was your breakthrough there, man? So, um, <laughs> I um I was blessed, like I said once again, blessed to do some work, um, some I guess independent work, independent film work, and um, one of the one of the casting directors for a TV show called um, Swamp Murders. She um, reached out to my agent and said, hey, we would love Jason for this role. We would love to bring him in for this role. So I auditioned for the role. Um, and um, it was a, it was a tough role, man. It was a tough role because the, the character, he um, it was a, based on a true story. The character was a, um, he was a rapist, man. He raped this. He, he raped this young girl, man. And so mm. I kind of, you know, I contemplated with it and I said, you know what? I'm an actor, man. I'm a, ser- I want to serve this story. And so I auditioned for the role and. I, I did I did what I had to do right and so I got I, I got cast in that in that in that piece Swamp Murders did the thing an amazing experience powerful experience blessed that same casting director two years later she was res- she was casting a Bollywood movie hmm. she said hey she reached out to my agent and said hey Jason I wanna I want him to audition for this Bollywood movie so. I auditioned for the role. It was for a, a sales clerk um, of a of a grocery store. I auditioned for that role, um, and they said my agent called me about a week later. She said, "Hey, they don't want you for that sales clerk role. They want you f- to play um, the lead antagonist in the in, a, in the entire film." Mm. 
Mm. And I said, whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> yes. And you're so like, you're like, check. Yeah. Yes. Check mark. I'll okay, do that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so so we did that, man. And, and Marty, Joe, um, we, they shot they shot part of the film in Atlanta. And that was that was a part of the agreement. So we shot we shot that part. At the end of the shooting, they said, hey, man, we might need you in Las Vegas for another scene. I said, OK, that's fine. Cool. After we shot in Vegas, they said, hey, we might need you to come to India because we have a few more scenes we want to shoot in India. Wow. <laughs> what? So I go to India, man, and, 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 <laughs> and do the rest of the movie, man. And it, I had an amazing time. I mean, I, it was life changing. That was that was my life changing moment in film right there. Shot a Bali. I was in a Bollywood movie. One Bollywood of the, you know, one, yeah. yeah, man. Well, <laughs> yeah. What, what's you know, one, one of the things I love about your journey, also, uh, Jason, is man, you're you're so open to it. It's I, <laughs> here's one thing I don't hear you saying. Yeah, I had to turn that down, or I said no. Like you grind, man. You hustle. Yeah. And it mm. just opens up so many other opportunities for you. When when Marty got on, Marty got on tonight at the last minute, and um, he was like, "Man, sorry about that. I was grinding and hustling." And it's just the circles that I'm in with you brothers and Black Man Lab and Next Level. Man, everybody's hustling. Everybody's saying yes because it's yes. like we want to help. We want to further ourselves, and that just mm -hmm. opens up so many more things for us, man. That, it's so yes. empowering to hear what those yeses meant. So much hard work, but a yes. lot of experience and opportunities as well. Yes, Joe. That's it, man. I I'm I'm a believer. I'm a believer in in that's that's a that's one of the rules in um in improv. Say yes. <laughs> and you say yes and it's called the yes and yes, yes and, and. Okay. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yes. And now, I don't and have what to else? try that around the house with my wife, do I? I don't have to do that. That can just get difficult. <laughs> They just get difficult. Well, you know what, Joe? She she might get tired of the and after a while, you know. <laughs> you, you over and her, you know. And what? And what yes, else? Yes. And then eventually she's gonna be like, okay, go away. Yeah. <laughs> so so oh, Jason, man. hey man, yes, so sir. I had a quick question. Mm. Now you've worked in Hollywood and you work now in Bollywood as well. What yes. which what were there differences there? Did you see differences in working in those two? Yeah, man. Um, and I will say this. I've heard stories about people changing the script. Of course, they change the script. The script could change at any time on any on any production, on any set. Mm -hmm. But with this Bollywood film, they were writing the script as we were filming it. Oh, wow. So <laughs> he were, they were right. so, <laughs> so consequently, least... you went to Vegas, <laughs> to India, you know, wherever else. I get you. More specifically in India, when we got in India, they were writing the script because they said, hey, man, you did such an amazing job in, 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 in your role. We want to continue to we want to we want we want we want to see you more. And so that's why they had to they had to write it while they as they were filming in, 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 um, in India. So that was really different. I was like, OK, all right. So he said, oh, here's the lines. I had to get them, get them, lock them in. All right, action <laughs> nice. and go and work. But the theater, the, my training had prepared me for that. Mm. My training, because I knew who my character was, them giving me lines, new lines. I'm already in character. So that's just a matter of me. OK, locking it in and then sure. saying it how I want to say it. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's that and, right? That's that yes and. That's, that's that yes and. <laughs> One of the questions that, that I, I had is, as you develop your career, and, and, and Marty and I are in space with some brothers like yourself that are doing some amazing things. We, we, we you know, the panel on Monday, and then uh, Will Packer, Rob Hardy, Dave Shanty, and brothers, you know. And I know there comes a point where you're like, all right, I've done all this, so now I'm gonna be a little bit more selective because I, I, I specifically wanna represent this. And, you know, we've heard of those actors that, uh, um, 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 that, that say this is the only kind of thing I'm going to do. Like, where's where's your stance on that? Because it sounds like you've done a lot of constructive and, and community oriented kind of theater and film anyway. But are you at a point yet where you're like, hey, I'm only going to do this? Did you start at that point, or or has just and just helped you migrate to a space 
where you can kind of select accordingly? You know what? That's a beautiful question, Joe, because I, I, I did a movie um, called um, Prodigal. And, 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 and I played a very, I played a very, um, he was violent, but he was violent with the, for a reason. And the reason, and so, um, when I, when I, when I read the character, I saw that he had post-traumatic, uh, mm -hmm. post PTSD, he, had, he was suffering from PTSD. Right. So there was a reason why he was, there was a reason why he would be triggered and just go off on this, this rant, this ra raging, this raging right. fury. Right. And so I said, that makes sense. So I said, okay, you know what, if I'm, if, if the yes and helped me because it says, hey, if I play a role, if I choose to play a role, it has to serve the story. So if I'm playing a Jamaican drug lord, it has to serve the story and it has to be purposeful. Like, I'm not just going to do a role that's just like, oh, man, hey, just go be, hey, can you just be, just just do this and, and right. don't right. worry about just it. No. Yeah. yeah, it has to, it has to serve the story. And so that's my biggest thing. Is it serving the story? If it is, then yes, I will be, I will be, I will embody that. I will embody that character okay. and I will okay. give you, and I will live as, I will live as truthfully as possible, man, in this role. Man, that's beautiful. That's awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, so man. To talk about, um, how'd you get to Black Lightning? Ah, uh, <laughs> once again, um, it's the uni universe, man, universe. So I auditioned, my, my agent sent me, um, they sent me the breakdown for this role. It was for Joey Toledo. And so I, you know, I, I, I prepared for it. I read it, did my thing, put it on tape. Um, cause a lot of 95% of uh, our, our, our auditions as actors now they're self tapes. So we record the auditions and send them to the, and send them to the casting. We very rarely go and get a, get to go in front of the casting director. Now those days are almost gone. So, um, I did, I, sh um, prepared it, send it to the casting director. Um, and my agent calls me and says, Hey, you didn't get Joy Toledo, but they want to offer you this role for this character named two bits. I, and he's, he's actually, she said, he's actually very, very integral because he is the eyes and ears for black lightning and i was like oh wow she said he's the eyes and ears on the street so he's a street guy but he's he he's he, he's he's getting his intel and then giving it bringing it to black lightning to help so i said wow that's that's yes yes a oh, man so so that that that's how two bits kind of came um i auditioned for one role didn't get that but I got two bits. <laughs> so that's where the role for Black Lightning kind of came from, man. <laughs> man that, that's great stuff. And, and, and I just, just as we started talking about, it, I remember now that you were on the panel way back when we had, <laughs> and, and you and Bill Duke were on the panel. Yep, I remember yes. that. That, 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 yes. was, that was, how, was that an experience for you to be in that <sighs> space like that? My God. I, so, just knowing Bill Duke's his filmography and knowing his 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 um his wealth his I guess his breadth of work, I was honored, man. I told him, I said, Mr. Duke, man, I'm honored, man. He said, Listen, I heard about you. I said, Oh my God, what? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. So, <laughs> but yeah, man, he was he was a he was a he was a true elder and a true mentor, a true mentor. Although we didn't we didn't get a chance to work together. I watched him work. I watched mm -hmm. him work, man. And he is a craft. He's a true craftsman, a true craftsman, man. Yeah. So I, I, I learned so much, man. That was a, that was a blessing and honor. And then to be a part of a TV show that was so political and it was so, it was on, it was on time, man. Um, shout out to Salim Akil and Mara Brock Akil, Ma, Mara Brock Akil, the creators. Man, their vision, man, is beautiful, man. They've been doing, and they've been doing this for a while. But mm -hmm. when I, but to to use a, a, a comic book as a platform, sure, to for social awareness. Ah, oh, when I found out that green light was a, it was a drug that the that the that the government had put into the community to experiment on on the on black people. I said, whoa, that sounds a little bit like another drug. Yes. Right, that right. We know, and a, a, a government that we know that did the same thing. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Okay, I see what you're doing, brother. I see what you're doing. Oh man, 
<laughs> yeah. I love what they're doing. And even, even the new season that just kicked off, man, you know, yes. where where he's he has this internal dilemma where I want to help the police. But I yeah. also know that, you know, there's some 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 bad ones out there. So he has this internal struggle, man. And he's he's handling his business in a lot of yeah. ways that we as a community are like, yeah, hell yeah. But right. he's struggling with that just like the rest of us though. Cause we want yes. to we, we we see our brothers and sisters that are out there in uniform as well, but we're like, yes. but it's still a problem. It's still a problem. Mm. And I love mm. how y'all are attacking real topics, man. And, and you have been, like you said, for, for a minute now, undercover of something else. But I, I love it, yes. man. I love it. Yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. That, that was that was powerful when we had all y'all. We, we that that was a crazy panel Ooh, that we had that, day. that was a crazy yeah. panel. <laughs> you know what was funny? I to give y'all a quick story about that that day was that mm. you know uh brother Bill Duke came in. And of course, all, those of us that are that know know how powerful and how you know his history and how great he is. And yes. when he came in, he just came in and went right to the panel and sat there with that Bill Duke look. You know what I mean? Kind of like, yes, what, what's this about? You know? And so as we started, as we started the 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 session, um, you could tell like he was looking. He had a look of kind of confusion, and he mm. he wound up calling me over to him after a while and uh mm. you know i wish i had that on camera but he came i came over i was like yes sir you know like what what what's going on and he was <laughs> right in the middle of the, of the panel and he, he whispered in my ear he says i get it now i see what you all are doing i got it and i'll run with it and i was like Phew. wow nice. wow man yeah he did yeah that was powerful Cause he was, he gave kids his number, and he, y'all, all y'all yeah. did, of course, y'all were all great. Yeah. But it was just, it was amazing. And I was like, man, he, if he gets it, right. we all should get it. You know, yes. we should all be able to get it without having yes. any pretense. You know, so none. Yeah, man. One more question for you, and Joe, and for me anyway, Joe. If you got more, go. Um, yes, sir. What were your thoughts on the panel on Monday? What did you get out of that? Um, and, and and was there anything that was eye opening to you? I mean, you've been doing it for a while now, but you might have heard a different perspective. So, what what did you get out of that? Wow, um, uh, brother Rick Mathis, man, we talked about that intellectual property mm. and owning your intellectual property. Mm. That 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 opened up a gateway for me. Mm-hmm. I actually, I. <sighs> So now I'm like, I want to have a meeting with, with my Wooly um, and, uh, um, about representation, about legal representation, because we don't, we, nobody tells us this when we're starting off as actors. They don't tell us, hey, man, you might need to get a lawyer. You might need to start your own business. You might, need, they don't tell us that when we first start out. It's like, hey, man, get, get the craft, train, 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 train. But they don't say, learn the business. Yeah. Right. And that was that 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 thing sparked something for me. So I was like, "Oh wow, you know what? Yep, it's time, it's time, it's time." Yeah. So that was the that was the most beautiful thing that I heard, man. Uh, and and uh, of course, that's a part of the team as well. Sure. Like that legal that legal is a part of your team that you build. So that was another yeah. piece. The team we talked about team building yeah. your team. Yeah, yeah. That's that's uh, I think that's one of the things that you know for us especially mm-hmm. you know sometimes we forget um to cover our you know what, what are, i said it there you cover your ass you know yes sir lack of, lack of a better term is what you got to do yes. um especially yeah. given your craft and given the level yeah. of creativity that's there um mm. and and you know Miley is a great person to go to for that. So I'll, I'll talk to him tonight and I'll make sure he, he touches base with you, Jason. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Joe, did you yes, ask up, Joe? I do. Last thing I want to ask, man, is um, Jason, you've you've put so much in the universe and allowed it to be manifested into your life. You've been mm-hmm. a blessing to Black Man Lab and to the people that we are in audience with and to our, our panel when you come and speak on it. So what I want to ask you is I want you to, to manifest and put more in the universe. Who are some of the dream directors, dream producers, dream people that you want to work with? And let's just publicly say that so that as we move forward, if we have connections, if we know people, we're saying, hey, we got a guy. 
Who are some of the people that you dream of working with? And put that in the universe because we know it's going to happen. Ooh, man, I got I got chills because the first thought that came to my mind was was Spike Lee. I want to work with Spike, man. I'm going I'm going to work with Spike, man. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and 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 honestly, watching Chad with Bozeman, what what that 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 brother, he 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 changed my he changed my life, not only as an actor but as a human being, man. Because just watching his journey. Mm-hmm. And and all, all the way up until you know his his transition, uh, so he, he, I, I just I was like wow. So that 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 meant a lot. So I, I definitely I, I, I wanted to work with him, but it's all good. I know in spirit I will. Right. Um, right. um right. and um um Mr. M- Mr. Smith man Will Smith. I, I I've always told I told my grandma. Before she transitioned, Love it. I said, "Grandma, Grandma, I'm gonna be in a movie with Will Smith." I told her that, and she said, "Okay, baby, <laughs> okay, baby." <laughs> hey, you know what? Will Smith is, is always in movies where there's some Jamaican accent folks. So I yeah. see that happening, man. <laughs> I, I see a bad boys in your future, man. <laughs> Yes, yes, I love it. I'm there. I'm there for it. I told my I told my agent, I said, listen, whatever anything Will Smith does, please keep me on the radar. And she's and she's done it, man. She's done it. She's done it. She's done it thus far. That's good stuff. We're gonna we're gonna pray for that. We're gonna make that come to fruition somehow, brother. I love it though. Yeah. I shake. How did how did you get your how did you get your agent? What was it? Did you just once once again? The universe. I was in a play. I was in a play at this at this church. I was actually teach, teaching a teaching at Imhotep, and a parent said, "Hey, Mr. Louder, um, we have a play at our church, and one of the actors dropped out. And we know you're an actor. Can you come and do it?" And I said, "Sure, yeah, 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 absolutely." So I do the play, um, and the director she works with Tyler Perry, and so she said, "Hey, after the play, she said, hey, can I ask you a question? Do you have representation? Do you have an agent?" I said, "No, ma'am." She said, "I want to get you an agent." So mm. she she got me on a call with the, with um her, with one of her with one of her people. We had a great conversation, and they said we normally don't we normally don't do this, but we want to sign you right now. So they sent over the paperwork, and they signed me, man. Wow! And that, that's how I got. And I've been with that same agent since 2014. That was in 2014. <laughs> same what agent. A journey, man. What a journey! What a blessing! Man, that's wow. beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> and again, again, you it's just you know. Everything lined up in a divine way for you, brother. Absolutely. Yes, and, and and that's that's attributed, I think, to how how you moved and, mm. and how you, again, the laws of reciprocity, right? Yes. We give out and we give back. You know, without yes. with the, we give out without any expectation, and 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 everything comes back to you as it's supposed <laughs> to. You know, so that's, okay. that is beautiful stuff, man. Yeah. So, um, I think that Monday we had it. It was interesting. Cause mm-hmm. you know, we, when you were on before we had the huge panel, but a lot of actors, <laughs> right. We had a lot yes. of actors versus mm-hmm. this time where we had people that were a lot of people that were behind the scenes. Yes. And, and um, I hope uh, that, that, that actually opened some eyes for our young folks that were there that, you know, to be in the film industry doesn't mean you always have to be a Jason Louder, which is a great place mm-hmm. to be. Yes, sir. Um, but there's also other means of, of uh, um, employment with with the the film industry that's that sound like anyway from the guys that were there are really satisfying and um, you know really meaningful. So um, we're and excited. that meant a lot. Yeah, that meant a lot. I'm sorry, Marty. That meant a lot to hear for for me to hear another brother saying, "Hey, brothers, there's so many different avenues in this film industry." An sure. eight billion dollar industry. There's so many different avenues that yeah. you can be a part of it if you want to be a part of it. It's not just in front of the camera. Yeah, so many, and yeah. some of the and and some of the large, <laughs> some of the larger paydays are a bit behind the camera. So, <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Just, I was wondering about that. You know, when you were sitting there, I was like, I was like, I wonder if he's good at raising an eyebrow. You know, as they were talking some of those numbers, you're like, hmm. <laughs> you right. know. Was. Really? I said, man, if somebody would have told me this when I started, I said, man, I would have drove man's and <laughs> still been taking classes. <laughs> sure, sure. That's why I was like, Jason's probably like, I could have been driving. <laughs> yes. Yeah, man. Yes. That, that, that's but it, but again, that goes back to it. We talked about it on Monday. These are things that we don't know, right? We right. don't know. Right. 
we don't know yeah. as a community. And, and unfortunately, you know, other communities just get indoctrinated in it by proxy. We, on the other hand, yes. you know, we have to have places and spaces like the Black Man Lab to share this kind of information, to spark interest and, and hopefully push people down a road or help people go down a road that, yes. that they might want to want to go down, you know. So, man, um, look, man, we're, we're almost we're almost up against the clock here at 730. Uh, okay. But what, what we do, just like uh, we, we do in the lab, too, is we talk about habits, rituals and disciplines. Those things that you do on a daily basis that keep you moving forward, those things that help you to, to stay centered and, and, and focused on, you know, your ultimate goal. So uh, we're going to ask you that. What are your habits, rituals and disciplines that you do on a daily basis? Wow. That's I, I love that question because it's always it, it, it always makes me think about what I could what more could I be doing? Right. Um, so I definitely, man, every morning wake up. That's my devotion time meditation. You know what I'm saying? I do at least at least 10 minutes of meditation. You know what I'm saying? Some days I try to do a, a little bit more, but at least 10 minutes of meditation right when I right, right, right when I arise, when I wake up. So that's important, man, to have those affirmations. And in those meditations, I do sometimes affirmations. I am beautiful. I love myself. I'm great. So those are the medit- some of the meditation. Mm-hmm. Some some meditations may just be mindfulness, being present. So I do different meditations depending on like what space I'm in when I wake up. Sure. Um, so that's always a blessing. Um, and 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 I had just started not just but over the over the pandemic, I was like, you know what? I need to create a ritual of health. So I I, I feel like I eat I eat pretty well. I do eat pretty well. Um, but I started walking every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, just walking around my neighborhood, just mm. walking, you know. And I said, you know what, man, that's that's important. So that's something I do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I take my walk. Um, I got I got I got to take my walk today, so I haven't taken it today. So <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get it in. Gotta get it in. I gotta, I gotta get it in. Um, um, and then um, as far as habits, man, I read something about acting every day. Hmm. So it, it, either it's an article about another another artist. Mm-hmm. And either it's um, doing research on 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 a on, on a grant or some kind of writing, but something dealing with my craft. I read something in that space of my craft um, every day. That's awesome. Love that. Love that. that and that's yeah. there's a good lesson there. Is that you mm-hmm. know whatever your whatever your craft is, is to mm-hmm. do some work on it every day. You know, sometimes we just do work. We just work, right. but we don't work on whatever our craft. Oh. Is. You know, so that that's that's a good lesson there, man. So, man, look, so appreciate you, Joe. Did you did you have anything that you wanted to add there? I, I no, I on. just I just want to, man, like really, like it's it, it's so funny because you know, Marty, we do this all the time, and I was on a I was on a call earlier where I was talking to a couple people talking about my foundation, what I do, and so forth. And at the end of it, they were like, "You're going to be successful because you're passionate about what you do." And I hear that all the time. And I'm like, okay, okay, appreciate it, you know. But listen, Jason, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Dude is so positive and you're so, so passionate about it. Bro, it, you're just, that energy is going to, it can't help but to feed into what you're doing because when you put that positive energy out there, the universe is going to want to deposit it into a positive account. Like right. the universe don't want to mess with negativity. It's, it's right. looking for positive accounts to, to make the positive do things. And man, you are that brother, man. I, I just, I know so many amazing things are, are going to continue to happen. I love the, the, the yes and mentality. I love the humility and I appreciate your work ethic, your, your, your meditation, your walking, your commitment to, to your craft, man. Just, just thank you so many lessons that, that our young brothers and sisters that can, can see and listen to this are, are getting from you, man. And thank you for that. I appreciate your energy so much, brother. Thank y'all, man. I We're reflections. I see that. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. We Because we're all one. We're all one. And I, I, I just, it just hit me like, well, we're all one. And so I'm, 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 re, I'm a reflection of Marty who is reflection of Joe, who is reflect like what w- we are reflections, man. So I, I, I appreciate love y'all, man. I, I, I just thank y'all. I thank y'all from the bottom of my heart, man, for everything that yes, you guys sir. are. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. man and I'm we, here. 
Yep. We, we, you know, we love having you in the space, Jason. We love having your energy. Um, and we can't wait to see the movie that's going to be be written and produced by Spike Lee, starring you and Will Smith. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> there it is, right there, brother. That's not, that's hey, man, we go. We just gonna go ahead and put that home run out there, bro. That's what we gonna there do. Right I, you know, I'm gonna have to I mean, let me let me figure out how to holler at Spike. I got this, man. We, we, we just need to tell Spike. To go ahead and produce the next bad boys, and that will take care of everything. Yeah, yeah that yeah, would yeah. the Jamaican role, the, the real sin, everything. Right, 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 right. That's it. That's we, it, my brother. Wow. Get, well, that actually, close us out, man. Right. What we need to do though is bring both of those cats into the Black Man Lab. We need right, Will right. Smith and, yes. and and Spike in the Black Man Lab. Well, what we're gonna mm. do is we're gonna let Jason have the energy to do that. Once once he yes. gets his stuff squared away, he's yeah. gonna tell them, "Hey, I got a place y'all need to be. Y'all need Jason's to be yeah, right. on that force. Get your mind right. 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 Man, well, look. I'm already. I'm already on it. <laughs> <laughs> my man. My man. Well, look, Jason. Just like we close out. At the Black Man Lab, we close out here at Lab Results. Um, yes, sir. We do the same thing. Um, you know, we're doing it virtually. So we're going to yes. lock arms together. We can all lock arms and then just repeat after me. I am a link in this chain. I'm a I am a link in this, in this chain. And it won't break here. And it, it won't, won't break, break here. here. I'm a link in this chain. I'm, I'm a link in, in this, this chain. chain. And it won't break here. And, and it won't break, break here. here. We are links in this chain. We, we are, are links, links in this chain. In this and we won't break here. And we, we won't, won't break, break here. here. Ashe. I say, brother. I say, brother. Oh. Jason, thank you again, my man. We'll be in touch. Yeah. You know you always welcome in the space anytime. Bring any yes, brothers sir. that you want um, yes, to the sir. lab. and We will happily have you, man. Happily have you. Molly will probably pull you up on stage no matter what the topic is. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Jason, best luck to you. Best wishes. Keep up the, the hard work. Mark, super producer. Thank you, Mark, for everything. Yes, man. sir. Keep Mark. The scenes, man. Love you. Love you, brothers, man. Love, Love y'all, man. man. Talk to you. Thank y'all.